know that's why the judge and the expert Shh. they saw that. No. They saw you. No. Then why are they not giving you sole Be because custody? Because you got a female well, judge. Because... That's why. I'm not on, taking man. her. Don't take I'm her. not taking her. They gave her to me. Congratulations on your film. Your film was like it was beautiful. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, so how did you get approached with this script? I uh, knew one of the producers was an acquaintance of mine, and he showed me the script. Mm -hmm. And it was interesting because when he told me about it, I and then Scott as well, we were both a little bit allergic to the idea of a story involving a child going through a custody battle, and we were afraid it was going to be sort of maudlin and heavy in a way that maybe we weren't going to be so interested in, but it had a real lightness of touch about it, and we were really interested in the idea of trying to tell a story from a child's perspective, um, which is not a very, something you see very often, so. Yeah, how'd you go about doing that, going from the child's perspective? Do you have to channel your inner child while doing that? <laughs> <laughs> we were inspired by the young and gifted actress beside me, Onata April. We all, I mean, I say that sort of jokingly, but how did you go about telling it from a child's perspective? There you go. Um. Oh, you're a child. <laughs> 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 I mean, I was about to say that was kind of the key is like for a lot of the scenes that, you know, we'd have something on the script and it would be written exactly what, you know, was expected from the scene. But there was always an uh, element of chance, is, which is, you know, what was Onata going to do kind of as as a real six-year-old in that situation and and she was really good at um, being in the scene but still being herself like keeping all of her six-year-old instincts mm -hmm. and um, you know that that was kind of inspiring for us as it's been a while since David and I were six mm -hmm. yes exactly. <laughs> so how do you go about um, going through the scenes you know because she's so young and you did an amazing job it was so natural do you remember how your mom helped you prepare for the scene. Tell us about that. Well, she helped me by we, um, she talked about how I would feel if this was really happening and like what I would do. Every day before Onata came to set, mm -hmm. she and her mom would, you know, kind of work with a scene so that Onata always knew her lines, but she mm -hmm. also kind of understood you know, emotionally what the story of the scene was that she had to do that day and kind of what the emotional stakes were. Um, so when she came in, she wasn't really over-rehearsed, like she didn't really have a specific set rote way that she was going to do the scene, but she came in really understanding it. And so then she was really open and able to be in the scene with the other actors and mm -hmm. kind of respond to what they were giving her. And um, that in was in kind of the process. Pretty good way, in a way that the other actors were yeah. kind of impressed by. The performance was extremely natural, and the relationships in the film seemed so genuine, especially between Lincoln and Maisie. Um, so, how was your relationship with Alexander? Um, really fun. Yeah. So, how was it offset? Was it the same offset as it was on set? And it looked like they really connected. When we first met at David's house when we were coloring in um, a castle with a moan and we made pop out people with paper on the floor. There was a lot of just, you know, climbing on Alexander from the get-go. I saw that, the climbing. <laughs> you also did that offset and you also just like had fun uh, yeah. and everything. Yeah. So what was your favorite scene to shoot in the movie? Mm. Well, we went one. to Chinatown. Oh, Chinatown. That's where you got your turtle. So did you get, I heard you got to keep the turtle afterwards. Mm-hmm. What's the turtle's name? Tallulah. Tallulah. So do you still have the turtle now? Mm-hmm. And you also had a lot of toys when you were there. How was that, playing with everything? Um, well, sometimes I didn't really pay attention to the other toys that were in my room, but... It was more so the turtle. Yeah. The so, turtle. um, Julianne Moore, um, she plays Susan. So, how was it working with her? I mean, it was great. I mean, she's... She had actually read the script before David and I did, and mm -hmm. it was partially the fact that we had heard that she was, you know, interested. That was mm -hmm. one of the big attractions f for David and I to get involved because we couldn't think of a actress who would be better for the role of Susanna than her. Mm -hmm. She's got that kind of ability to be sort of fierce and mm -hmm. um, you With know, the grungy kind of mix. But she had a lot of sensitive, you know, moments in the film as well. Well, that's kind of what, what makes her amazing, I think, is she can really g take a character to uh, the edge of unlikability and mm -hmm. still give you enough humanity, I think, to, um, you know, to, to 
allow that character somewhere else to go when you need to go somewhere else with her. Uh, yeah, because well, the parents, they weren't very, I found that they, they weren't <laughs> supposed to be very likable, but I did feel like I felt sorry for them because I felt like they were trying really hard, but at the same time they did focus on themselves. Yeah, I, I think both of them, you know, as, as ill-equipped as they are to be parents, you mm -hmm. do, I think, you know, I hope, feel that they do really love their daughter. They just don't mm -hmm. quite know how to um, parent her. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, you know, walking that line, I think, was really a challenge for all of us. And, um, yeah, and this film hits home for a lot of people. I'm sure a lot of people have, you know, experiences in, you know, having that kind of situation. Did you feel like you related to any of the characters? Maisie. Maisie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I relate to Maisie. I love Maisie. <laughs> so in what ways did you relate to the characters? I think there's something about, because, the, because the, you know, the facts of the story or the, the, what would be considered normal exposition in a movie, you know, the, the relationship between the adults, the specifics of the custo custody battle, you don't get a lot of that because it's told from the child's perspective. You, what you get is the experience of a little person going through a tug of war that she doesn't completely understand and yet understands some very profound things about it. And I think that for me what I identify with and what I think a lot of people will identify with is just simply the push and pull of that and the unsurety, you know, being sort of untethered and sort of not knowing what's going to happen to you, being a little bit at sea and vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's kind of great and I think Anata did a really good job of conveying that. Yeah, you did ama you're an amazing little actor. So you, you've done acting before. So how do you like acting? Um, I like it a lot. So what's your favorite part about acting? The acting. The <laughs> acting, just being someone else is just really fun. The eating. The eating is what you really <laughs> like best about acting. Yeah, you made a peanut butter and jelly <laughs> sandwich. I saw that. It was really good chef skills. So Renata was <laughs> so good at concentrating and being so present in every scene until we put food in front of her. <laughs> It became and all about the peanut butter it, and jelly. We, sh we lost her. <laughs> Come back, Onata, we would say. Was there a lot of improvisation during the film? Not, not a lot, but a little bit. Steve Coogan was good at, at throwing a little zinger in there, here and there. The, the scene when he comes to visit and, and Maisie runs down to the elevator and he picks her up and they go in the house and he says, ah, oh, my sixth favorite girl. That was very <laughs> off script, but Onata was right there with him. And mm -hmm. Onata says, or Maisie says, who are the other six? And he <laughs> says, oh, I can't tell you that. It's a secret. And you say, why? And the door closes. And we all just cracked up because it was so, just so yeah. perfect. It was just, there's a lot of really like adorable scenes um, in this movie. What, so what do you want um, audiences to take away? What we tried to do is make, an ex make a movie about um, an experience as opposed to a specific story, you know, a specific story with uh, lots of exposition and facts and specifics about what are happening for characters and more about what a person might feel in a particular situation. So um, I, I don't know, I hope that people take away from it something about like what it means to be kind of in the moment of those kinds of experiences and um, what that might feel like. Mm -hmm. It was an amazing film. I really enjoyed watching it. Thank you so much for talking with us today. You're going to have the opening in San Francisco. Well, it's, it's opening the San Francisco Film Festival at the Castro Theater, which, I, I mean, David and I lived in San Francisco and started working here together you know, qu quite a few years ago. And um, we must have seen every you know, kind of important formative film of our film education kind of at that theater at some point or other. So we're, we're, we couldn't be happier about that. And then the film opens commercially here on the 24th of May. 24th of May, awesome. Mm -hmm. So really excited. Well, thank you so much for talking Thanks. with me. Thanks, pleasure. Thank you, thank you, guys.